Let's just get right into this, Rick. When you heard the news of Lincoln Riley to USC, what was your reaction? Brilliant move for Lincoln Riley. Brilliant. Listen, Oklahoma has been a stalwart in the Big 12. It will be, there will be growing pains when they head to the SEC. Uh, not sure what the format will be, if they'll be in pods, four, four team groups, which might look much like the Big 12 if Arkansas and uh, Missouri go along with Texas and Oklahoma as part of that pod. But you're going to have a harder time achieving what you've achieved at Oklahoma in that format. Going to Southern California and taking over a program that's been down based on their own expectations and having the competition that exists in the Pac-12, I think, is a much more realistic uh, opportunity to go to the head of the class in short order. So I think it's brilliant. I think SC fans are desperate. And I know this, George Klyovkov, the commissioner of the uh, Pac-12, has to be giddy because this will... Uh, this will end up upping the price for the new television deal. Rick, it's got to be somewhere behind the scenes. Kolovkov had to be aware, involved, helped somewhere, because I'm with you on this. This for the Pac-12 is beyond seismic. It's woken up a conference that's been asleep at the switch with an awful television deal and just not having high-end coaches. This is huge for him. This is huge for him because he has to have USC strong. Yeah. USC's been kind of more abound here of the last, I don't know, five to 10 years since Pete Carroll left. And it has to get back to full function, full strength, if the Pac-12 is going to realize its full uh, strength as well. Rick Neuheisel with us for a couple of minutes on Sirius XM. Right around the corner, he'll be doing his show. And, of course, you see him on CBS College Football. Herm Edwards is 43, or actually Arizona State is 43 and 35 since 2015. They beat the Wildcats once again for the fifth time in a row, arguably the worst program in America right now. Rick, what is it from a distance that you see? I know you're focused in on the SEC, but you have your ties here. What do you see that's going on at Arizona State? Because it's the same old story year after year. And now with Lincoln Riley on board, I don't see where Herm goes here. First of all, I think you have to congratulate Herm on an eight-win season when there were so many dark clouds hovering over the program to start the year with the NCAA investigation or at least news of an NCAA investigation looming. Uh, for the kids to come out and win eight games, I think says a great deal about Herm's hand on the wheel and its steady influence. Uh, to do it without three coaches that were suspended uh, for the season I think is uh, an amazing feat. Uh, and we get the word now that Herm's going to stay, which I think is a steadying uh, piece of news. And now it's just about how can we get this ominous cloud out from behind us? Because Arizona State has everything you need. It's a, it's a fun place to go to school. Uh, it, it's, Herm Edwards resonates with moms and dads in living rooms. And I think they've also kind of happened on to this transfer portal. And I think for kids who are looking to go someplace, where's better than Tempe, Arizona and playing for Herm Edwards. So even with Lincoln Riley coming on board and Kyle Whittingham up and running at Utah, you think he can be at the top of the heap in this in the West, Rick? Or I do. I, I think Arizona State has that kind of uh, appeal uh, to the different uh, arenas that you're pulling from, both transfers, graduate students, and also high school kids. 